My friends, welcome back to Distant Worlds Universe. We are playing as the core with all of the, well, mods <laughs> that are in the title. Uh, let's press on pause. Let's see how our empire is uh, doing today. Um, what are we doing? I can't remember, actually. It's been quite a while since I logged on because I usually do weekly recording sessions where I record most of the episodes in the very first one or two days and it has been that time so by the looks of it we are investigating shields colonization and faster projectile weapons can't wait until these two are done also can't wait until we actually have let's make sure the game keeps running until we kept out on our population uh, we are also now a poor navigator isn't that bloody lev lovely it's lovely, isn't it? So, there is one thing that I need to be doing while uh, the game is running. And I should have prepared that, of course, before doing anything else. Oh, Construction Ship has been completing its mission. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Potential colonies. Uh, we'll work on that once we are ready. Uh, galaxy Priority. So, by the looks of it, gas is going to be a Galaxy Priority. It's 70. This is one's 80. 80 already. So it's actually about Aragon, right? So if we go to strategic Aragon, is it something that we can actually use? Uh, it's not too interesting for us, actually. So yeah, it's not as good. Uh, the crystals. Doesn't seem too important either. Well, I could be very wrong. Please, don't get me wrong. I am, by definition, not the person to tell you how you should play this game. I'm just enjoying my ride. So, by the looks of it, there is three over here. Hydrogen. And we got uh, calcium, I think. Or Keston and helium. I think that's going to be right. So, let's send you over there. Hopefully, we will get a few more... Um, fueling stations we got one now over here which is great because now we can actually go further into this territory and um, yeah I'm looking very much forward to that um, let us see let's get that out of the way I'm actually in my other window as well because I need to look on some names yes I need to look on some people's names what is this Ooh, looks Quite lovely to have that. Let's send you over. And the reason for it is there are um, people now. And let's filter on um, core. And see if that will work on the, on the YouTube. Of course that will work. So we got a few more names by the looks of it. Uh, one by definition, I think. Can I not just... Search by, hmm, oh well, we have, let's scroll downwards to make sure that all of that is going well. Yes, MST, we got two new peoples that will be joining us today. We got already got Ultimate Toby here, the Conconscious is the leader and we cannot change his name just like that. So we're going to have a scientist who is going to be MST. Hopefully that is going to be okay. As for the other, let's take a quick look. Um, we have Mr... Actually, got two more. I got two more. Wow, cool. I like that. Keep on giving me uh, comments, guys. I like that. A Q. Actio. Actio. Uh... Oh my god, Azura. Azura. I am very sorry for destroying your name, sir. And the final one, unless I missed one, is going to be Mr. Rick Ross, who has told me he is definitely enjoying the game and he got it after seeing me play it. So, hey, that's a win win in my book. So, let's get the text up again. 
uh, we might want to play at a cash flow of 10. Now, there is a few things that we won't be doing as soon as, um, how do you say it, as soon as, as soon as we find enemies. We got a poor space, oh my god, what the hell, man. Our scientist Rick Ross has uh, made a critical breakthrough, dude, you are fantastic, look at that. Going all through the uh, colonization there. So... Because I allowed to have empires trading technologies and the likelihood of them hating me is extremely high, we want to make sure that once we start meeting other, other space-faring empires, uh, we're going to be in a position to strike. Uh, but we're waiting for the shield technology to get that going. We already have armor and hopefully... Hopefully, pirates make an offer of protection. Go, go, go away, dude. What, what, what on earth do you think you can do with one ship? What are you planning? By all means, you can try to attack and I would applaud it, but... Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool. Uh, offer discovery. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Not that interesting. Um, has been pursuing the wrong path. Oh no, MST, what are you doing, mate? The wrong path, don't do that. I need the right path. So, there's one other thing that I need to be checking, and that is the uh, the progress of my science ships. Now, as we know, we can actually make them do science. And I have not been looking at this at all. Now, I've been considering removing them. Uh, removing the lamps, they cost me money, but on the other side, they also um, do something with my overall here. Now, it is starting to be a bit more well spread out than it was initially after, of course, the assault of the pirates. But um, let's see if I can actually do this. So, control, oh, right click. Okay, we don't have to zoom in. So, what is it that we would like them to do? Uh, in all honesty, I want them to go and increase. Mm, no, definitely not. Colonization is already done. Mm, okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So, enhanced construction. That is what I want them to do. So, click one, shift, control, right click, research, uh, enhanced Enhanced, enhanced, I'm so dense, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really not, um, not focused uh, all too well uh, lately, I don't know why. I, there you go, enhanced construction. And that will immediately also give them, I think, no other jobs. So the lonely way, the lonesome way did I do you? Probably. Enhanced construction. And enhanced construction. Control. Alt control is the keys you want to be trying for this. And we're going to be adding all of them on enhanced construction because we want to make sure we can build larger ships. ASAP. And we already are being quite overwhelmed because we're being quite busy with our shield uh, of course our main scientists are going to be assisting them and and this will bring me to the following it is quite annoying to do all of these and then have to do like where are you you're over here where are you he heading towards you're probably going to be refueling which is fine so the ones without a mission we're going to be setting like explore all systems and you are over there Exploring all systems and, 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 and this actually is making me Want to remove the research modules how absolutely fantastic they are they do break away from my main uh, research we have Almost enough, but looks of things we are definitely lacking a tiny bit But we can upgrade our spaceport to have more research. What kind of spaceport are we using actually? Man, I was worried that I was streaming this. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, the construction ship has completed its mission. 
So let us take a quick look here. Oh, that is gorgeous, mate. Just go there. Um, what was I doing? So yeah, we were going to look at our star base, which is in this system. And he's going to be resupplying by the looks of things. So this is a small spaceport. And we are building ships. Oh boy. What kind of ships am I building? Under construction. I can't remember. I was actually building a few. Um, no, these are the medium freighters. These are being built by the, uh, the private sector. Awesome. But this does give us an indication that we might want to start thinking about upgrading to a medium spaceport and that would actually serve us quite well we don't need our small spaceport to have too much let's go edit because we don't have it um, this one's 80 and it, it's more than enough the only thing that we need to be adding here would be um, uh, definitely armor and all of the other things but we'll uh, like always we'll do that at the end of the episode we don't have to do that right now oh wow so if I press enter, no. Uh, you have completed your exploration mission. Now let's zoom out. We know we can go to this sector. We can possibly go a lot further in. Why do we keep zooming in? That is quite annoying. So go here, explore. Whatever. Um, you, no mission. I want you to help over here. Uh, he's refueling and then he'll have uh, the other thing. Could you... Go away, dude. Just, no thank you. Go bite me. Do something else. Just, I will declare war upon you if I have to. I don't care who you are, Mr. Pirate. But we don't need you and I no, definitely don't want you. So, once we increase the size of our ships, as well as the shields, we're going to be fitting a lot more engines. Because I think it has been holding us slightly down. The, uh, the speed of our engines has been quite... Worrying. So he's been waiting because there is no opening position. Uh, look at that, we've got over a thousand. Can we help? Can we help colonization? It's already being rushed, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's go over here. 30% completed. Uh, actually, I do want to rush the shields because I would like to add them in this episode. And then you'll help over here, which is great. Cool. So that will be rushed. We did lose a tiny bit of money. Let's keep the cash flow going. Let's not uh, bring it back. We'll save up on monies. They still have a 5% growth. So it's not really doing as much for us as I'd hope. What is your problem and where are you? Okay, so you are going towards a gas mining station to refuel, I guess. There you go. And he apparently still has its mission, which strikes me as somewhat odd. Ah, there we go. Of course. Of course, you don't know what to do. It is fine, sir. It is fine. Go there and do your worst. As for my construction ships, um, we got four. One is refueling. And we do have a good amount of things that we could potentially construct I might be interested in doing so but once we upgrade these once they become faster I don't think they are actually really needed um, there you go we got a breakthrough on the uh, the shield research which is absolutely fantastic I wish could we one ship still could do we have you are way too expensive, man. Way too. I could probably just declare war on you. No, can't. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Uh, there we go. Another one completed its mission. Steel, uranium, and lead. Let's take a quick look here. Let's keep you going. Um, do we have some resources? in the vicinity that we are not currently extracting the Norwegian crystals emeralds 
These are the green ones. I don't see them anywhere. Because these are the other ones. What else do we have? Oh, a bunch of luxuries. That would actually be quite interesting. Hmm. We got two ships now, not doing anything. Yeah, there's not too many interesting things to go after right now. Um, so we'll just send them off their merry way. Uh, this actually is not bad at all. So let's go there. And let it continue. Oh, for crying out loud. The offering of protection is the most annoying thing I have ever, ever bad witness. What is your problem? Local defense detective plus 20%. Tactics and countermeasures. Why? Are we automating the fleet? That is my question. Well, not that we... Per well, not that we actually need it. Of course. You are patrolling by yourself. Are we not in a fleet? Yes, we are. So one ship is not in a fleet. So let's go to military ships. Actually, we did get the uh, light cruiser now. Poor space logician. This is absolutely fantastic. All of my guys are absolutely horrible. We have a bombardment thing over here. A lot of armor. Um, let's view the design of the ship. So, no hyperdrives again, but a lot of crews. And they have turbo thrusters. Damn, you are quite, quite fast, I think. You're quite... Well, you're not that strong. Your fire, firepower is 40. Uh, but you're more like a planetary bombardment thing. Uh, we are going to be scrapping you, sir. Yes. Let us retire you. And hopefully we'll get a very, very nice bonus of you. Um, you are automated. Let us start sending you to... Nearby systems. Let's see if they are going to be doing. If they are on a mission... There is no mission. So they will go into this vicinity. And I'm quite okay with that. I'm quite okay with that. So let the game run. Come on with the... Is the shields done? Wait. Yes, shields is done. That's great. That is great. So in enhanced construction, once that's done, we're going to be taking a look. We're going accelerated construction, which is rather expensive and might take us a bit. Um, pure defense, this is good for everyone. Don't care about that just now. Automated deployment, yeah, not right now. Let's see. Ship boarding is definitely something I would like for my destroyers. I'll get to the hangar base a, a bit later. Um, once that is that, and uh, colonization, you will go into either commerce, or we're going to go with the tracking and countermeasures. And countermeasures is being researched at the moment. I'm not sure if it's happening right now, because, well, you can't actually see now, can we? Which is uh, somewhat annoying. So there is something in here, but we don't know what. And we will eventually find out. Hmm. Do we want to get more explorers? I kind of want to hold off until we retrofit all of them to new designs. And I'm going to be removing the labs. Um, what? Renewed? Harming our relationship with them as a... Huh? Isolationist? Our people have uh, reaffirmed their desire to remain apart from others in the galaxy. I'm okay with that. I, I didn't know this, this actually was a thing. Are there bonuses for that? I don't think so. I would really like to find out where the pirates are heading. Or where they are. Um, let's click on something else so we don't see that uh, circle every time. Can we turn that off? There we go. We don't need to see that all the time now, do we? Look at all of these ships going left, right and center. Absolutely brilliant. Empire summary. Well, that doesn't really help us now, does it? 
Uh, we have a research bonus in hangar base from disassembling advanced research. So how much? I'm always searching for things, am I not? It's in weapons. It has to be in weapons. Boarding. Oh, we got the hangar base. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. Like that. So we can now start making a fighter base uh, and a bomber base. Cool. Uh, we'll be ex definitely going to be uh, adding them to our stations. Not sure how to work with the mining uh, stations yet. We want to defend them. That is definitely a thing. We definitely want to do so. Because we need to hold off until our fleet is there to destroy anything that's in its path. But that's something for the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stick around if you want to see me retrofitting the designs. And... Uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Okay, so let's take a quick look. We are going to ships. Exploration ships. Like I said, and it might be a mistake, I'm going to be removing the labs. Um, they cost me money. Uh, not as much, but six, seven, eight. It, it's 50. It's not as much, but it is still enough. Uh, so let's save that for now. Let's auto upgrade for a second to uh, if we had new things in there, then that would definitely have helped. And do a hundred, five hundred shields is more than enough. In terms of engines, I would like to add more. Just to get them into the cruise a lot, a lot faster. As for my directional, where is my directional? There you go, six. How large can I make these? Let's do a test. So we're not over se um, 575. Wow, this is a large ass cruise. Uh, that might be a bit uh, overkill. 20 is uh, more than enough. We'll need silicon because we don't have enough of that of a supply, which is not too bad. Turn rate is good enough. Um, do we want to increase the fuel capacity? The range is quite low and I don't like that at all so let's start with you and life support we have now shields we have just too little armor i don't like the 100 so we'll go with 300 of course leading towards a habitability and life situation fuel i want to go to one sector and probably 15 in fuel and you'll say that's more way too much will eventually Definitely, we'll, we'll dial it down quite a bit. So, that's going to be it for the Explorer. Construction ship. Um, defensive, 5. Armor, like 250. Uh, we need more cargo. We need more movement. 100. We're going to be 215. And this is a, a larger and heavier ship. You will see it when we increase like uh, directional things that the sector range eventually will decrease due to the weight of the ship let us get cargo 15 yeah 15 we're still on 1.12 habitability and life there you go 1.10 so we're still over the range that i would like but the looks of it our hyperdrive is just not cutting it. We need more power. More power to the engines, Mr. Scott. Two. There you go. Turn rate. That is fine. Sector range is still good. Cruise is a bit on the low side, but I'm okay with this design. Escorts. Mm. Movement is quite nice. Uh, like I said, I want to have at least a sector right now, we need standard armor, like 500, and we'll go with a thousand shields, and that is putting us way over the design, which is a problem. But we definitely want it uh, to be a bit stronger than it used to be. So, 360, what can we remove? Directional... 
it's only five. I kind of want to have to ten. So we need to trim it down quite a bit. And we got a lot of uh, of missiles on. But this is our escort. Mm. We could remove two of those. 614. So we got a long, long way to go. That won't do. We need that. Crew quarters, we need it. War bottle. Um, this is only 30 points. Let's bring it to 5. 600. And we're almost there. Maybe cut down a bit on the shields. One more. And we'll add a bit more in armor. Yeah, it is okay, I guess. I wasn't hoping to dial down on the firepower. I really like my firepower. All weapons stand off, so it will be just using these missiles, which is fine. At least we are going to have some shields, not too many of them, unfortunately. So we have boarding, right? Hmm. Actually, these are the destroyers, yes. Do we have frigates? We don't. So our escorts are going to be the, 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 the smallest ship. In that case, I would really like to get rid of the missiles. Um, I want these guys to be fast and actually nimble. We'll just get right into their face. So it will cut down on firepower. And we will get some... Let's see where their weapons are. Three types of weapons will not use hangers. How's the turn? That's 10, that's 20. Um, that's more than enough. So it's either going to be defensive or offensive. I kind of feel like going defensive. Back to 500. Ah, there you go. There you go. This is going to be it. Uh, the destroyer. And the destroyer will have eventually... I would like to have that do the boarding. We can actually do that. Consider adding everything. Crew life, power, movement. That's good. This, I want to get up to 10. Like I said, one sector will bring it up to... 15 for now, we'll dial it down later. Shield component. 500. 500. We are a bit over. Hmm. So no missiles at the moment. Bring you down. Just a tiny bit. Well, we can do that by getting rid of some armor. Bring it down a bit more because we need to add... Actually, do we? There you go. And yes, the weapons are the same. Once we unlock more weapons, we'll uh, specialize ourselves into different types of weapons. I like that. Light cruiser and all of that stuff I don't need. State bases. Let us auto-upgrade. Shields. We desperately need them. Let's go with 2,000 and I'm saying like a 1,000 armor. Uh, we have more than enough of, um, of cargo capacity since we are changing this, um, this base anyways. It doesn't really matter at all. Life. So that's going to be enough. The medium one, let's upgrade you, manually upgrade. Let's take a quick look. So we have the command center. We do want to get about a thousand again. And we'll add 3,000 in shields. Uh, weapons. I'm not happy with that. No. Um, let's add 15 missile launchers. 
And we're going to be adding five fighter base. This is going to be quite expensive. Maybe five is a bit overkill. Let's add two. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Construction, weapon plant, you already have that. Power, we have more than enough. Mm, there you go, small. So the one that we had was having 11,000. And I am quite okay with that for now. We could possibly go to 16 half. More than enough. This one is going to cost us an arm and a leg. Mm, not sure if I like that. Docking bay, we have enough. Construction, yards, life. Six. And a recreation center. Do we have the troop medical bay? No, we do. We need more habitability now. And there we go. 21 on 21. Enough cargo, enough armaments. We have more weapons. Let's go all weapons. All weapons. And save you. Energy research plant. There is no upgrading you, which is fine. Let's add shields, 1,000 or 1,500, and let's try to get to 1,000 armor. In terms of firepower, um, oh wait, we didn't check the uh, energy output on the other designs, sorry for that. We do want to add about 10. So, in terms of power, we're still doing mighty, mighty fine. Let's get some fighter base in there. Three of them. No, yeah, three. Three is enough for now. We'll eventually add five. All weapons. Three. That, that is fine. Power is definitely not fine. Let's add some more power. There you go. And that's one. Uh, let's take a quick look. Yes, we need more power. Yep, that will do. Five, 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 three. Five, five, three. Sorry for that. And now it is over, which is good. Energy weapons. So again. Like a thousand. And shields to 1500. Because they might be in the outer rim quite, quite soon. Uh, let's add missiles. 10. Free fighter base. More power. Let's add three of them. Habitability and life. There we go. 300, more than enough. Save you. Don't need to auto upgrade. Bring you to a thousand. Free of those. Then, free. Was there anything else that I was going to add except the habitability in life? No. That's a bit too much. Here we go. That is roughly the same. As for our private ships, I will just auto upgrade all of you. And now we'll just add shields and power. Um, 200 armor. I'm okay with just adding 500 shields. They don't need anything else. They don't really have the range, but it will eventually be there uh, yeah once we upgrade that it will be fine so this is all working out quite fine let's manually upgrade you let's add five habitability life and that is all i believe oh we need power there you go Mainly upgrade you. Five as well. We probably will need to add power, but we'll, uh, we'll wait on that. 
Uh, okay, we don't need to. Great. Cool. I like that. Uh, gas mining ship. At five. That's all well. We don't have to add anything else. Mining ship. That is awesome as well. Go to private bases. Now gas mining ship. Wait, let's cancel this out. Let's auto upgrade, auto upgrade. Ah, let's see. Now you are in the outer rim. So let's add a bunch. Back to 500. And your firepower is quite weak. By the looks of it, you got five, six rail guns. Let's add six missiles. So that will definitely increase. We want it to hold out. And the pirates already are not a threat at all. That's the wrong one. We need this one. So this will all do fine. I don't think we need anything else on these. Manually upgrade on you. Thousand. Six missiles. Uh, we'll add the fighter base later. Not right now. So habitability and life. And I think that was it, right? So 1,360 in terms of defensive capabilities. Let's do this the other way. Just add it. 1,500. Okay. 60. Sure. So add a bit more armor. And now we need more life. Now we need that. Save. And that's it for the, uh, for the ships, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.